The world is about to change. We are heading to war. And our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is coming sooner than you think. Just last night, Hezbollah attacked Israel. The whole Middle East is about to go in flame, which would lead to World War III and the start of the Great Tribulation. This is not the time to play a game. If you are a lukewarm Christian, repent of your sin and turn to God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I'm going to say it again. Jesus is coming sooner than you think. And I'm going to keep saying that for that to be ingrained in your mind because some people don't believe it. Some people believe there's always going to be a tomorrow. And I'm going to show you this video just to show you how the world is preparing to go to war. Take a look. U.S. warships and fighter jets are on their way to the Middle East to deter an all-out war and, in quote, defense of Israel. The Pentagon is moving uh, significant assets to the region to prepare for uh, what may be another uh, need to defend Israel uh, from an attack, while simultaneously we are working very hard to de-escalate this situation uh, diplomatically because we do not believe that a regional war is in anyone's interest uh, in the current moment, and, and that is something that we've been trying to avoid since October 7th. The show of military might comes amid rapidly soaring tensions in the region following the assassination of top Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran last week. And a rocket strike on Israel's Golan Heights area that killed a dozen children on a soccer field days before. Israel blamed the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah for the attack and struck what it said were Hezbollah targets in Lebanon. A Hezbollah commander was killed. Both Hamas and Hezbollah are backed by Iran. Hezbollah's ongoing aggression and brutal attacks are dragging the people of Lebanon and the entire Middle East into a wider escalation. While we prefer to resolve hostilities without a wider war, the IDF is fully prepared for any scenario. But in Beirut, on footage carried by the Hezbollah-controlled Al Manar TV, Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah denied the group's involvement. We categorically deny our responsibility of this incident, and we have the courage to take responsibility if we bomb the place, even by mistake. Despite the finger pointing, there are real-world consequences for people living in the region. Israel's Iron Dome air defense system triggered over the weekend to intercept attacks from across the border in Lebanon. And with military reinforcements on the way, the State Department issued a Do Not Travel Advisory for Lebanon, encouraging U.S. citizens to depart. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News. Sorry to interrupt, but the best way to support this channel is by subscribing so other people can see it. Back to the video. You know? I believe in a post-tribulation rapture. I don't see no evidence for a pre-tribulation rapture. If you believe in a pre-tribulation rapture, it really doesn't matter because that's not where the focus should be. The focus should be to put faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and to live the way He wants you to live. That's where the focus should be. So when Israel attack Lebanon, all hell will break, will break loose. And Iran is going to get involved. All the surrounding nation will get involved to attack Israel. And that will be bad. That will lead to World War III. My friend, Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming sooner than you think. So tell me what you think about this video. Comment below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. God bless you.